Hey guys, welcome to Game 5 of the Choba League Season 12 Finals. Grass starting in the upper left hand corner. As the green Protoss upper hand corner, we have Exit. As the red Terran, this is going to be on Shakuris Temple. And Exit on the verge of a championship. Grass... I like what he's done thus far with a lot of the mind games in between. I think he might have adjusted and figured Exit out. We'll see. It's turning into a series. I think he's recognized Exit's ability to adjust to scouting information and his dedication to scouting. And has instead, really in the last two games, utilized that against him by refusing to plant that third pylon and just kind of leaving things a bit more murky. Didn't work out in game three. Honestly, I'm going to say because of a lot of I almost feel like a lot of negative luck in that game. But in the previous match, I think it paid major dividends. I was actually shocked to see Grast in the last match try to go for positioning on that choke, mostly because that entire interior area, it's, you, you can attack from the defensive position, high ground to low ground, which is why more often you will see players just try to split the map in half and play from there. Exit moving out with that SCV scout. He does have that barracks building, no refinery just yet. Gateway is up with the simulator. He's once again going to get scout first, which does not bode well for Grast. What I'm hoping Grast will do is send out a probe scout momentarily. Still no probe scout from him. Usually you'll see scout after gateway, but keeping the probes inside base. Didn't get a good view of where that SCV was moving from. Immediately into Cybernetics Core before Zealot. And exit backing off. And unfortunately for Grast, once again, he's going to end up scouting exit last. Refinery is up 3 SCV, R and gas. And the SCV, I like this. SCV just kind of holding position outside the ramp to see if another probe scout is going to move out. Exit really wants that scouting information. So he's, and I think the way he's going to play this is, okay, I know if I see another probe inside my base that it is standard play at this stage. And if I see another probe go out, I know that there's something cheesy happening. So let me go ahead and box, I'm going to box my opponent in with vision, effectively, and try to get accurate information that way. He's got a factory building. Still three SCV on gas. But knowing as yet, that really doesn't tell us one thing or another. Checking the perimeter, kind of couching that SCV now. To hide away from that Dragoon to get additional scouting information. Three Marines on the way. And unfortunately for this probe scout, it's going to wander up and get probably boxed out. Maybe even killed by these Marines. Second factory plopping down for exit. So he's definitely thinking about more of an aggressive start. Dragoon trying to take that SCV down. Probe walking in to see a bunker being built, but he, oh man, able to slip by those Marines while Exit was distracted, is going to be able to see everything. Nice. So Exit, with a bit of a flub, he had every opportunity to block this scout out, and instead is going to be able to walk right in, see the two factory play. He's got that Nexus building, but he knows he's going up against some form of two factory pressure. Exit already moving forward with that initial SCV. The Dragoon's starting to press the front door. This is what I actually like to see in Protoss' response to this, is get in your opponent's face and try to slow things down as best you can. Bunker is there with a single Marine. This probe's still inside the base. Exit with another SCV moving out, so he's going to go ahead and walk up and see what he's up against. Range is upgrading, just about finished. Man, this probe has been an absolute hero. Still doing kind of linebacker, well not linebacker, running back jukes in the back line. And now those Dragoons with range starting to attack that bunker on the front. Only one SCV, which is not going to be sufficient. Another SCV needs to come along the way. A Vulture trying to sneak through. Able to get a little bit of damage done on that Dragoon as a result. Are there going to be, is there, it's going to be a while before another Dragoon is there to defend, unfortunately. Range being upgraded. Two SCV are now there to defend that bunker. 
early pylon wall. This is kind of a clever follow-up by Grass. Drop two pylons, try to do a little bit of a blockade, and just don't transfer SCVs yet. The Vulture actually backing off in the meantime. Siege tank out. So I would say an early economic advantage for Grass, but Grass not quite able to saturate his natural expansion because of that Vulture slipping through. However, I will say it does seem like things are finally working out for Grass. Two Dragoons hang out at that natural expansion. Exit wants to follow it up with this attack. Taking a lot of free damage on those Marines and the SCVs. Actually stutter stepping misdirection. One Marine down. Dragoons having a little bit of trouble engaging. Nice micro against this dust far by Grast. Loses those two Dragoons, but he's inflicted serious damage with what's left. Three gateways are up. More reinforcements are coming. A fourth gateway on the way, as well as a Robo. He's got two Dragoons, but with the two Dragoons, I think he actually might be able to fight this off, considering how low these Vultures are. SCVs are running up to repair to try to equate the defenses, but here's the thing. Those Dragoons are going to be able to build, be built in the meantime, and their tanks are sieging up, so now he's going to go for a contain. More Vultures making their way across. Sorry, more Siege tanks making their way across. So a second double machine shop. So Grast is now in trouble of getting boxed in. He does have a lot of gateways on the ground. He does have that robo up, so it is possible he can get a shuttle to try to break this. But Exit wants to win this game now by pressing into this natural expansion. One Dragoon down on the low ground. Probes are not joining this battle. Now joining the battle. Siege tanks at the near end getting attacked. Group repair on the Vultures to try to keep them alive. And the Nexus is taking fire. A Zealot is there. Is there a shuttle? No, no shuttle being built. Dragoons biding time for more reinforcements. A a two engineering bays to try to block out these Dragoons. And clog up this natural expansion to follow. Oh, man. Three siege tanks now pounding away at this Nexus. A cancellation and a supply depot instead, and now Grast is going to end up losing this Nexus at his natural expansion. Exit well ahead in supply. Here's the thing, it's... No, he's going to call GG right there. Oh! Championship goes to Exit. Exit is our Chobo League champion for this season. Congratulations to Grast for a great season. Otherwise, hope to see you in future seasons of BSL. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll have, uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to post all the NA team battles. Hopefully I'll have some NA team battles for you guys otherwise. And hope you guys enjoyed the games overall. Thanks for listening.